Hey guys, Holden from H Bomb Fitness, and today I'm going to show you a very simple solution to help with knee pain. Uh, I mean, obviously, knee pain can contribute from a lot of different factors um, biomechanical, uh, muscle imbalances, stretching, and also just certain diseases like arthritis. Um, but Here's a simple solution that can probably help, actually can help with all of them. Now if you go see a physical therapist, um, I'm sure no matter what, if you have back pain, knee pain, hip pain, um, any sort of pain, you will probably be diagnosed with some very weak glute, um, uh, uh, just weak glutes and uh, weak hips. Uh, so, what I want to show you is just a few exercises that probably all the PTs will give you uh, if you have any of those uh, symptoms um, of knee pain, hip pain, back pain, because your glutes are pretty much the basis of your whole body. I mean, they, they absorb a lot of the shock and they really control that hip. So. Having really strong glutes will not only stabilize your knee, your hip, but also take a lot of load off those different areas. Um, if you have very strong hip, glutes and hips, I mean, your knees will barely need to do any of the work because all your your hip is what is really taking that load. So, what you're gonna do is get a resistance band that's looped, or get like a thera band and tie it. And what you're gonna do is put it between your legs there's different resistant bands this is an extra heavy um, you know there's a light medium all of them work pretty well um, so what you're going to do these are called clamshells you're going to lay on your side like this have the band at your knee and you are going to open up key with this, try and keep your hips forward, not falling back, but forward, just lift up that knee. So usually people, they're pretty strong, they're glute maximus, so we get from doing squats, that sort of stuff, but where people are really lacking are their glute medius and minimus. Um, so this exercise is really working at glute medius. The glute medius really helps stabilize the knee. Um, that's why when you do squats and stuff, I mean it does help your knee to a certain extent, but you're really not working the glute medius and minimus as much, which really helps stabilize that knee. So for this I do 20, 30, 20 to 30 repetitions a knee. Alright, right now I'm feeling a nice burn. So that's a great exercise. It's a very, very good exercise. It really helps with knee pain. Next one is a bridge. And then keep the band on. So basically you get into a bridge. But what the band does is it forces you to drive your knees out. And when you're driving your knees out, you're activating that medius and minimus to stabilize. Because you're not you're you're trying to prevent your knees from collapsing in, you're trying to kick them out. So that's really getting that butt to work. And also, this is a great core exercise and just really strengthens those hips. Try to do 20 or 30 of those again. The band really adds a whole other thing to that. Um, then you can keep it at your knees or you can put it at your ankles. If it's at your ankles, it's a little harder, and you do glue um, raises. Ooh, feeling this already. Same thing. Do 20 to 30. Okay. And then lastly, well, I mean, there's a few things you can do. The cool thing is you keep this on and you can do lunge squats. You also do yoga ball um, wall squats. Put a yoga ball then do a lunge into the, a squat. Okay. Um, other thing you do is you put this at your ankles. 
they do a thing called lateral walks and monster walks. So lateral walks, if you're in a semi squat, walk from side to side, switch. I do something down my driveway. And there's not really a prescribed amount of reps you do for this. I just call, call them dead reps. You basically just go until your, your glutes can't do it anymore. You get a really good burn. So you do that, that's the lateral walks. Then the monster walks are you take a step forward and kind of side shuffle. It's like you're figure skating. Okay. If you do those, your glutes wax absolutely hate you the next day. Um, but yeah, I mean the, the important thing about this video is just kind of emphasize how people's glutes and hips are very weak most of the time. And when people go in for knee pain, for physical therapy, a lot of it just has to do with their glute strength. Um, has almost nothing to do with just there's some like really bad problem with their knees. A lot of it is they're just loading their their legs wrong. You know, it was the same for me too. I I went for knee pain and a lot of the stuff they gave me was just those simple things I did right there. I mean obviously there's a lot of, there could be some other factors but I mean the 85% of the time it's just people have weak glutes. It's just simple as that. It's the same thing as people who have very tight hip flexors. So you know once again I'm a big fan of the kind of figuring out those imbalances. So for this, you know, really strengthen your hips, um, loosen up those legs, get those hamstrings loosened, your quads, just really stretch out those quads. Um, hip flexors are key because um, that can contribute to back pain because if you have tight hip flexors, you're gonna bend over a little bit and then a lot of load's gonna be in your back. And just having a tight, really um, solid base your glutes, you're going to be able to just absorb a lot of impact. You're going to stand up taller because you're not going to be relying on your legs as much. Um, and it's just a very simple thing to do. That You can do that in five minutes, all those exercises. And you know, you can prevent a lot of hip surgery, knee surgery, any sort of that, that sort of stuff. Um, all you just need is this band. Um, it's funny because squatting is very important, I think, you know, I have a squat rack back there. Doing some heavy squats, I think, is very good, just for your overall um, health, <laughs> because, you know, learning to really have that strength to, you know, push yourself up with all your, with some extra weight with your legs, very important. But, you know, just having, just doing squats won't do it, you know. You're gonna, you know, build all the muscles in your legs, but you really need to exaggerate with your glutes. You really need to actually have more strength in your glutes than probably the rest of your legs. And yeah, squat is a good way to kind of equalize that, have like good strength in your hamstrings, quads, glutes, calves, but you really need to have just good strength um, in your glutes in general. I mean, I, sh I actually almost do this after every workout. Because your glutes are a big muscle too, very big, and you know it's gonna take a while for them to get super tired. Um, so I try and do this as much as possible. And I'm at this extra, extra heavy band right now, and you know I've just been progressing with it. So it's really nice to like, see like, oh yeah, my, my glutes are getting stronger. And my, I've had knee problems in the past, and it does really, really help with that. Um, but I mean, just to maybe save you money too. I mean, if you go to a physical therapist. Not, not saying that they aren't going to do certain things different, which they will, which is good. That's, that's why I do recommend seeing a physical therapist, which I have done and they saved my life. But if you just want to get a little head start, um, do this and then go see a physical therapist and then you can, maybe they'll show you some new things, uh, maybe some biomechanical issues that are going on. But if you can get a head start at this and then go in there and tell them, yeah, I've been doing this. Well, you can see a huge progress, and they can just keep adding to that program to figure out how to really solve any of your ailments you have. So, there you go, guys. Just a simple band. Wrap it around your knees. Uh, do some walking with it. Do some clams, and your glutes will get 
unbelievably stronger. And it's cool, it's not like a, a bulking strength, it's a true functional strength. So, there you go guys, that's my little spiel on uh, glute strength and having, you know, weak knees and back and all that sort of stuff. So please incorporate that into your exercise, it takes five minutes and it can really save you a lot of issues down the road. H-Bomb Fitness, see you guys.